Humans don't do that. Unable beg Queen, Harry and Meghan raffish Ventanger at Lilibet's christening. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's baby Lilibet and Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi's baby Sienna were born in recent months and are both due to be christened. Lilibet will most likely not receive a traditional royal family christening as she is located in the US. Whereas, Princess Beatrice, her husband Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi and their baby Sienna are all based in London, at their St. James's Palace residence. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not christen their daughter Lilibet in the UK and are likely to opt for a ceremony in California, royal sources have claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed their second child Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, who was born in Santa Barbara, California, on June 4 this year. It had previously been suggested the couple, who named the four-month-old after the Queen's childhood nickname, would christen their child at Windsor Castle in front of the monarch, who is yet to meet her great-granddaughter. However sources have now revealed that a christening in the UK was highly unlikely and the pair will instead opt to christen their daughter at the Episcopal Church of the US. The decision will now raise questions as to when the Queen will ever get to meet the great-granddaughter named after her face to face. It also comes just days after it was revealed that Prince Harry would not be returning to Britain next week to join his brother Prince William at a party to honour their late mother. A palace source told, there will not be a christening in the UK. It is not happening. Meanwhile another insider added it was highly unlikely. The Episcopal Church of the US, which is member church of the worldwide Anglican Communion, is run by Bishop Michael Curry who became an internet sensation after he delivered a 14-minute sermon at the couple's wedding at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, in 2018. Conducting the ceremony in the US will mean that Lilibet will not be considered a member of the Church of England automatically. However the young royal could later join a Church of England congregation if she came to the UK. Although Meghan attended a Catholic high school, she was baptized and confirmed into the Church of England in a private ceremony at the Chapel Royal conducted by Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby. The intimate 45-minute service was conducted by the Archbishop of Canterbury at the Chapel Royal in 2018 and was a closely guarded secret with only a handful of royal aides involved. Meghan followed partly in the footsteps of the Duchess of Cambridge who was baptized as an infant but had a private confirmation after her engagement to Prince William. The service observed the full ritual of the church with holy water from the River Jordan from the private royal family font poured on Meghan's head. Lilibet's brother, Archie, was also christened by the Archbishop amid unprecedented secrecy at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, in 2019. At the time of Archie's christening the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said they felt fortunate to have enjoyed their son's christening with his godparents and shared two pictures from the big day. A few hours after the ceremony, Meghan and Prince Harry released an official image in which they posed alongside the Duchess of Cornwall, the Prince of Wales, Doria Ragland, Lady Jane Fellows, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in the green drawing room at Windsor Castle. Princess Beatrice's father Prince Andrew, her mother Sarah Ferguson and sister Eugenie all live within close proximity to Windsor Castle. It is very likely that Sienna's christening will be attended by the Queen at Windsor, in the traditional fashion for the royal family. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's baby, Lilibet, lives thousands of miles away in California. Prince Harry and Meghan spend the majority of their time at their £11 million mansion in Montecito, California. The couple swapped their UK base, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, for the beautiful US property which they purchased in June 2020. Speaking to magazine about her daughters Sarah Ferguson said, My children are phenomenal mothers. They were great children but now they're phenomenal mothers. And now, I have these two exceptional grandchildren all in one year.